Hi everyone, this is the demo for Transparent Sessions, which is a new HashiCorp Boundary feature. So for context, Boundary provides end users with an easy way to securely connect to their desired resources, like Linux servers using SSH, or Windows servers using RDP, or databases, cube clusters, or web applications. Boundary also manages credentials to these resources, so end users don't have to. And Boundary also helps organizations have secure, fine-grained controls on who has access to each infrastructure resource, resulting in least privilege access. Effectively, you get better security without the added complexity. The new transparent session feature now makes it even easier for end users to securely connect to their resources. Users no longer need to actively interact with Boundary in order to connect to their desired resources. Let's look at the end user's experience without using transparent sessions. I'm going to log on to Boundary as an end user, say a developer. In this example, I'm using OIDC with Azure Entre ID for single sign-on. Once logged on, I'll see that the admin has given me limited access to certain environments. I'll filter this down to my staging environment. So before transparent sessions, a user would need to actively initiate a session by clicking on the connect button in order to connect to it. In our example, we'll SSH to my Linux VM. Once the connection is created, they can then use the boundaries built in shell to make the final SSH connection. Or if they prefer to use their own tools, they can use the preferred SSH client to make the final connection using the provided localhost IP and port provided by Boundary. This isn't really hard to do, but as a new user, it may take some time to know where to go or what to click on. And it does require users to change their workflow habits, which isn't ideal. Now let's compare this to transparent sessions. We're going to log out and start from the top. With transparent sessions, all I need to do is log in. So we'll log in the same way as before. And after I log in, I don't need to click on anything or actively tell Boundary to make a connection. Using the provided alias names, I can just go to my favorite tools to connect to my desired target. So for example, if I want to SSH that same Linux host as before, I can use my terminal and run SSH my Linux host staging dash one, which is the alias name, and then I'm in. If I click on Sessions, I can see that Boundary automatically created the session for me in the background. I didn't have to manually interact with Boundary at all. Now, let's say I want to connect to a Windows host. So very similarly, I can connect to a Windows host over RDP using my favorite RDP client by using the alias name. I don't need to know the IP address or anything else. Let's copy this alias name and put it into an RDP client. And now we'll double click to connect. When Boundary detects this connection, it'll send me a notification with the username and password. If I click on the notification, I can then copy and paste the username and the password from the Boundary desktop UI into my RDP client. So now we're on our Windows host. Let's go back and sign out. Now, the last thing I want to show is a secure connection over HTTPS to an internal web application inside of my private network. Once again, I'm going to grab the alias, which is basically my web app's URL, and then I'm going to put it into my browser. As expected, I'm able to securely reach my private web app over HTTPS, showing a picture of my pup named Taco. And before I conclude, one last thing to show. If I log off of Boundary, I will no longer be able to reach any of my targets, proving that these targets are only accessible through Boundary. And Transparent Sessions is the feature that makes it really easy for new users to connect without having to learn yet another tool or have to change their existing workflows. So hopefully this was a helpful demo of Transparent Sessions. Thanks for watching.